What is going on ranch fam? Welcome back to another video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today, what we have in store for you is we're gonna do a little update and we're gonna announce the names of our beautiful Munjack deer. So today what we're gonna do is head to the back and show you these guys. We're gonna clean out their enclosure and show you where they're staying until they get into their brand new, bigger expansion of their enclosure. They're still in a bottle. We've been working with baby animals on bottles for the last couple months because of Ollie, our otter, and our munjack deer, baby goats, all different sorts of things, puppies, a lot of different cool little baby animals here on the ranch. Oh, as you guys look in the sky, it is now going to be time for rainy season. Rainy season is right around the corner. It's any day now that it's gonna start downpouring and it's gonna start raining again. So the nice dry areas are definitely gonna be muddy and we're gonna be starting to get real muddy out here. But we have made a lot of new uh, changes right here so we shouldn't be too, too bad with the flooding. The barn is going up in the next week or two. But um, it's still not up yet. We still have to raise that up. We are just getting a lot of different plans and things put together. Let me oh, yeah. open that thing up. But uh, let's head to the back and let me show you these little guys and show you how big they've gotten. We also have a new friend here in our Aquascape ecosystem and that is a brown water snake. If you guys have been following me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch on Instagram, you guys see that guy right there? I don't know if you can see him. That right there is a brown water snake. He's living his best life here. He's always here all the time. And all he does is eat the little fish every once in a while. So he's going to stay here. He stays here. I'm not really worried about him. Look at him go. Look at him. Look at him go. Pretty freaking dope. The snake, I mean, the birds don't bother him. Nobody bothers him. They just check him out and he just does his thing. Not venomous at all and he lives his life. But come on and let's get it. So as you guys can see, we're walking inside of the brand new enclosure spot that the Munjack deer are going to be at right now. They are hiding inside of their little house and their little playpen run area. That's the spot that they've been right now, just so that we can give them bottles. We have a fly. <sighs> Got a little fly on the lens. Get that boy off. So, yeah, they're staying over there. And as you guys can see, we placed two giant utility poles into the ground. This one needs to be cut just a tad because it's a little taller. This one is just around 13 or 14 feet tall. So this is... Yo, buddy. Calm yourself. Uh, Mr. over here has been coming a little aggressive and so so we've been watching him over He's bonded with one of the ducks and Missy's bonded with the pig We're gonna grab them both and put them together in the aviary so that they can hopefully bond together a little update about those guys But this enclosure is going to be he's not gonna chase you Xander. promise you're good I know you're getting a little nervous behind the camera This is gonna be an aviary as well. This is gonna be an Asian species aviary Obviously, we're not gonna get this one done until that one is completed But we're still waiting for the plants to really establish themselves before we keep on going and we're making sure we have that thing to the T Before we start closing that bad boy up, but let's head inside over here. Hey girls come out So they do come out every once in a while But they like to stay in the shade and hide inside the house. They feel comfortable there and that's where they like to stay uh, We have the little Japanese tree and as you can see they ate all the little branches to the top so when I start, I'm going to start adding more trees inside of here and I'm definitely going to know that anything from the height that they can reach up to is probably going to be mowed because they're going to trim it like the goats and everything else would do. But other than that, it'll be nice and good. So let's head inside of here, jump over and come on in. So we have this whole little enclosure for them right here and they've been really actually mowing it down. You can actually see the grass. They've been trimming it, eating it, doing their thing inside of here. Not too bad. The weeds they have been eating. I've already seeded the rest of the enclosure so that there will be grass. And if you come here, girls, they are looking like adult little munjacks. Now, hey, it's okay. The camera. Come here. Come on, girls. So they're still in a bottle. They're still coming up to us. No problem. It's kind of hard to tell the difference of them still until the male gets its fangs. But this is the female. So this is going to be the girl. And on my phone right now, if you've been following me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch on Instagram, I always make sure you tell you guys to follow me there. The reason why I say that, because we're doing a vote right now. So at the end of the video, we're going to announce their names. Right now, what we're waiting on is Jack and Jill or Peanut and Nutella. Those are the most commented and liked uh, names on YouTube. So that's what we're deciding to uh, pick. But now we put it on Instagram to see what the vote is on right now. And right now, Peanut and Nutella are winning. But we're going to see at the end of this video. But come here, girls. I can smell the rain. You can smell that rain, Xander, because I smell it coming. So let's come over here. Come here, girls. Come here. Come here. Hey, look, I got milk for you. So they're still on uh, two bottles a day, but they're about to be just on one. So this is the boy drinking up right here, doing nice and well. Come here, girl. Hey, come here. There you go. Look at them go. So they love to get their little bit of milk, but they're completely pretty much weaned, really. I mean, they just have this just for a little extraness, and then this always happens. There you go. There you go. And they are deer, so they're still always going to be a little skittish and spookish because they are prey animals. But they've been doing 
absolutely really really well here on the ranch and they're just living their best life oh uh, how i get them to eat the the most is inside of their house what we're gonna do that now is we're gonna go get a brand new square of hay take out all the old hay and add new hay in there and then they graze all up inside of there with no problem at night they walk around in here but they still get locked up at night and i'll show you how i do that in just a second inside this little shed so the mail just finished what happened Told you, Mister starting to become a little bit of a Cape Baron goose over there. If you guys know about him, <laughs> Jay, look behind you, look behind you, look behind you. Stop! Wait! Stop! <laughs> He's not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. No, Blake, stop! Get him! Oh, no, <laughs> Jason! No, he doesn't care anymore! <laughs> this is not funny, Blake. Please don't do that. Look at him run! He's like, I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! <laughs> oh my god, that is funny. That. That was that was comedy right there. That was a good one. But all right. So what I'm gonna actually do is I have my little hay rack right here, my little hay thing, and I'm gonna take out all this old hay. Actually, I wanted to show you guys how I locked them up real quick. So what I did with this little shed is I gave them a little window. I put a little bit of mesh right here, cut out a little spot, and then so that if early in the morning when the sun comes up, I'm not up yet, six o'clock in the morning, they have sunlight and it's still nice and dark and they can get that nice fresh air with no problem. But um, yeah, they just get locked up just in case for a little bit more security. We have the new roll of mesh if they can have this whole thing closed off so they can't get out. And as you can see, this is their enclosure right now, but they're gonna have this whole entire thing and we are gonna have uh, more trees and bushes and more uh, trees and just, you know, it's gonna make it look more nice and everything. And then another cool thing is coming in December, um, Greg from Aquascape, Ed, the professor, they're all coming down. The whole team Aquascape, they'll be coming down. You see that in the future. We're going to be getting a nice pond in here for them, a little stream, and something for Ollie too. But you guys will talk all about that later on. So that's why I always tell you guys to subscribe to the channel and keep those post notifications on so you can see all the updates and the amazing things we get done for these animals to make it as naturalistic and amazing for them all. So let me get some of this hay out. Go get a new square of hay. Add new hay in there because I change out. You can check out inside over here. See all the hay inside of there? I take out all the old hay every other day, put a square in, and then they munch around, eat all the hay, and that's the best thing. And actually right here, we give them a little slice of sweet potato, a little slice of apple, and a little slice of romaine. So today what I'm going to do is just place it right here for them. There you go. A little bit of greens, and that's it. They get that twice a day, not including they have a complete roundabout of as much hay as they want all day long like i said i switch it out every other day so it's nice and fresh but um a little water bowl right there too we'll definitely probably be getting uh, automatic watering for them and all those stuff even though they will probably have not probably they will have a stream from aquascape which they'll be able to drink from which would be really really cool and um on top of that birds flying in here which is going to be a complete full natural ecosystem for all asian species so let me go grab this little square of hay real quick and come right back. I got a brand new fresh square of hay. It's TNA mix orchard grass. Uh, nice, good, clean hay for them. They have all different types of little stuff in there for them to munch around. But let's clean that bad boy out real quick. I'm getting them used to different noises. I wanna be loud around them because obviously we're in an urban area or not. 
in the middle of nowhere nowhere we're in an urban area so there's definitely gonna be noises around and we have neighbors so they might come around with lawnmowers they might come around with trucks and all those stuff so they need to be used to that so that if something does like that come around they don't get spooked and run into the walls and all that stuff you don't want that to happen because they are deer and they can be a little skittish but if they're used to it then it's a lot better and when i have family and friends come over i can have them come over here and talk loudly and call their names and all that stuff which the names are going to be announced in just a few minutes we're going to show you guys but let me grab the wheelbarrow over here and get the hay rack and let's clean out that barn so they get a little spookish like i said when i bring the uh, hay rake out but they're still getting used to everything and tonight is actually going to be the first time being introduced to a real thunderstorm and a rainstorm because as you can see it's definitely going to rain tonight and uh, it's going to be the first time, so hopefully they're okay, but it's something that's natural and they're going to have to get used to, you know what I mean? So I'm going to back this piece out just a tad, about that much, so that I can open up this door. And now it's nice and open. So, hey, mister or missy, not too sure which one you are, but um, still a little, I'm telling you, you, I'm trying to look at the markings, but they're almost just about identical. That one has a little less brown spots on it, well, white spots, this is those white spots. Um, but the best way to be honest how I feel figure it out is I just touch on the bottom one might be just nothing and one's gonna have a male part And that's the only way I can really figure out how the difference is both of them still But um, let me go inside of here and take out the old hay. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay girl And they're out. There they go Get it all out Use this little thing in Baba. Get it. Put it over here on the wheelbarrow. There you go. That's all right, girls. You guys good? And obviously, this is not going to be their permanent home. This is just right now because they're getting raised up inside of it. They're going to get a beautiful, awesome barn right behind us with Ollie on the other side of them. Divided up. It's going to be a really, really cool design. I've been really working on it to try to figure out to make it the right way and this is going to be 100 percent hurricane proof and uh all that stuff hurricane rated for over 200 mile per hour winds so that if there is a storm all the birds the deer the otters everybody can get locked up inside of there and they'll be nice and safe and sound so yeah everything on the property is going to have a lockdown shelter and double doors all those things just for precautions for the animals really for the safety of the animals it's not for people because Deer are not going to hurt you. These little guys won't hurt you, at least. But, um, yeah. And look at them. They're already munching on the hay. Oh, look, that's the girl. See how she's laying sitting down like that? Girls sit like that. Actually, I know I'm lying. That's the boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's the boy. Look how the boy, look, he's peeing. And he's licking his face. It's pretty cool. Pretty funny. One good thing is I don't have to stimulate them anymore. To make them use the rest of them, they can do it on their own. So that's a definitely a little plus for me. So I don't have to make them use the rest of them all the time. All right, last little scoop. There you go. What I'll probably end up doing is buying a seeded type of grass from uh, seeded hay stuff, like what you use for a pasture, and see this whole entire thing and have a couple sprinklers on the backside to so sprinkle this every once in a while well, during the drier seasons and see this whole entire thing so they'll have natural seeded grass so that they can just graze all the time and it'll be nice, nice, nice grass for them. Probably an opposite species of grass. That's something that I don't able to get from uh, hay or bales. Hey girls, you guys okay? They grab the little square. Don't go back in the house yet, okay? Because I want to go shake some hay in there. That is pretty much it, you guys. Check it out in there. Got all the old hay out, put some new hay in, and now all we have to do is go inside of there and they can go around and munch around and have a bunch of fresh hay for themselves. But uh, let's check my phone. Let's see what Instagram has in store for us and let's see who is winning right now. All right, so like I told you guys before, make sure you follow me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch on Instagram so that we can tell you guys. Hold on. All right. So the proof is here, you guys. The proof is 100% here. Right now, 615 votes for Jack and Jill. That was our first option. Look at it, eating some sweet potato. And our second option was votes for Peanut and Nutella. And that's 832 people, you guys. So, 
I guess the names are going to be Peanut and Nutella. So, who's going to be Peanut? Who's going to be Nutella? I think the boy Peanut. The boy Peanut, Cassandra? All right, so the boy is going to be Peanut and the girl is going to be Nutella. So the proof is here, you guys. It was on Instagram. Jack and Jill, 43%. Peanut and Nutella, 57%. So peanut and Nutella, it is, you guys. The new names of our beautiful Munjack deer pair are peanut and Nutella. What's up, peanut and Nutella? I'm still going to end up calling them girls because that just always happens. But for you guys on YouTube, you guys are going to know the difference, the boy and the girl. Peanut is the boy. The girl is Nutella. So there it is, you guys. If you guys want to have ways to figure out how to name animals here, we'll always have them on Instagram. So you can check that out there. But make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel so you can watch these guys grow, see their enclosure get put together even more, even though it's pretty much, to be honest, done. It's just like a couple little bit more things, which is not hard at all. A couple more trees, a little bit more grass. You guys okay? You guys like the sweet potato? You guys good? So the boy's gonna get a real big fangs and stuff and little antlers. Actually, look, I got a munjack deer on my leg as a tattoo. See that right there? That's a munjack cool little small little antlers and stuff it's gonna be really dope can't wait to see those things actually grow too he's a gorgeous little dude look at him looking around and as i was telling you guys earlier they ate all the leaves to the height that they can reach so when they get bigger they're probably gonna be able to munch all about to right here so we'll definitely have to get trees of higher trunks when we place them in here because there's no point of having leaves in the bottom part when they're just going to eat them so put it down in the comments as well what other trees do you guys want to see to put inside this enclosure? Because I'm going to need your help for Asian species of trees that are good for birds and for these deer. But, um, Peanut and Nutella, remember your names, girls. That's going to be your names. <sighs> so I've been coming in here, hanging out with them every once in a while, leaving, letting them do their thing, you know what I mean? And as you can see, they always all animals are going to run around the sides of the fence because that's their home. Just like how we walk around our house, they're walking around their house. It doesn't mean they're stressed out. It doesn't mean anything of that sort. That's just, that's their enclosure. And if you guys want to know something that's really crazy, you see the size of this enclosure that they're in right now, this little playpen pin? This is pretty much the exact size for an adult pair of these guys, even though they are in here right now. But this whole entire enclosure is, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, probably eight. It's gonna be about eight times this size of the enclosure. So this is regulations right here. It's eight times bigger than this, which is pretty cool. Not including the barn that they're getting, which is gonna be about the size of this that will be able to go inside, which would be really, really dope as well. We're gonna have a nice little hill, a lot of cool things. Just stay tuned, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys all later. Peace out, everyone.